Hi everybody, it's Gila here and today I thought I was going to share with you a really fun and really easy way to make a mini album using just one sheet of pattern paper, or any paper really. So I used to do this quite a lot when I started out scrapbooking many years ago, like 10 years ago or so. Um, and the other day I was looking through my old albums and I was like, I need to do this again. So what you do is you take one piece of 12 by 12 pattern paper, not pattern paper, any kind of paper, <laughs> just 12 by 12. And then you score it at three inches. Then you flip it around and then score it at three inches again. So you have um, a grid line. So you have three by three squares all over. Uh, so you score it at 3, 6 and 9 inches, I should be more specific, at both sides. And you can see I have that sort of grid here. And then, uh, to make it easier, I'm just going to fold it on all of those score lines. And the paper I'm using here is um, one of those exclusive paper by Scrapbook.com um, Flourish Collection by Maggie Holmes. And uh, when you do this album, um, you can do it from, when I did it before, I used to make it out of cardstock and then just cut uh, like three by three pattern um, pieces and put that on top. Um, but you can make it out of this pattern too. What's best to use is a pattern that is not, doesn't have an orientation. This one obviously have, but I'm going to show you how I work with that. Now I'm going to take a pair of scissors and I'm going to cut in. So from one direction, you're going to cut the first and the third line leaving one square and then fold it around and do the middle and then you're going to leave one like that. So you can see you cut sort of all the lines but not all quite and then you just accordion fold. And this is what I mean because some of the patterns will be on the right side up and some will not. But in this case I really like the pattern paper as a base and I'm just going to cover up the pages where the flowers are like upside down. Um, so like if you have a lined paper or um, a wood grain uh, polka dot or something geometric or uh, a floor that you can't really tell, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, because you get sort of little pockets, and I'm just going to take my circle punch, this is uh, one inch, and I'm just going to cut like half circles, so I have that to pull out the tags later. And now I'm going to use some red line tape, and tape the sort of, so the, when you have the pockets that it doesn't fall out, and this will keep the album in place too. Now, you can do this in many different ways. I'm using red line tape here, but you can use just wet glue. And the good thing about using wet glue is that that dries. Um, tape doesn't really dry, so sometimes stuff can get stuck. Uh, you can also use a stapler or you can sew. Um, it's just preference, really. I like the red line tape because it's quick. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, whatever floats your boat really. Uh, and this one I'm just going to tape the whole thing um, so I'm not going to have a pocket here. And yeah, <laughs> and then fold that. And you just need to be sure you like you fold it correctly or tape correctly so you don't accidentally uh, um, cover up if you have made a pocket. But it's really easy and uh, really fun. So yeah, like I said, I used to make this a lot and then I used the cardstock. So if I had a color scheme, I, for example, um, I know I made one with like, like blue and green colors. So I had uh, a blue piece of cardstock and then just took the pattern papers that I wanted and cut them down to a slightly smaller than three by three and then put that on top. Uh, and the point, uh, or what's good about that is that you get a bit sturdier, um, but this will hold up very, very nicely. And if you have a bigger piece of paper or a smaller piece of paper, the album will obviously be smaller or bigger. So here I have a little album with that is very cute and very really small with a little bit of pockets. I'm just showing you there and testing them out. And I'm going to use quite a lot of the main squeeze and then I'm going to use some papers from the Flourish, um, Flourish paper pad. <laughs> And uh, here we go. So what I'm going to do is um, cut them down. And I'm going to cut them down so they are about, uh, I don't know how you count in inches. But if you count that the pockets are three by three, um, and then 
I would recommend that you cut them down so you have like one of those little marks. <laughs> Um, but like um, a few mil millimeters shorter so that it doesn't uh, end up in the crease line because that will bulk up the album and make it hard to turn. Um, so yeah, just a slightly smaller, you know what I mean. Um, and the colors I'm going to, or the papers I'm going to use are just very um, sort of neutral but fun colors, I would say. So I have a cream with black florals and some red or gold stripes sort of um, and then just a craft with the white florals and that will make this um, the patterns will repeat and then but it will be easy to layer on top of it so here you can see I have a page where the is the flowers are upside down now because there are flowers you don't really it doesn't really matter um, but yeah, I decided to add some patterns here. Now, if you have like a floral where the flowers are all over the page, you won't really think about it as much, or if you have a bigger pattern, um, but that's up to you. But I think it's really fun to experiment with these kind of stuff. Uh, and what I also like is because this paper is double sided, so other side is a solid color, but when you have like this and you really want to use the pockets, obviously you don't have to have pockets in this album, but if you do, um, I think it's really fun that you get a bit of a color peeking out through when you have the pockets. Uh, so here I'm going to, that's one of the, uh, the main squeeze papers. And then because of the way this pattern paper is, uh, we get some parts of it where you have the flower and some parts where you don't really have a pattern. So on this side, the right side, you can't really tell that it's the wrong side up. So I'm just going to leave it at that. And uh, yeah, so that is um, about, now I'm going to fuss here. <laughs> I got the idea of edging out on the right side where the pocket is. And it's like, oh, I'm going to uh, punch it out and I'm um, not doesn't go very well but that's what's so fun about these albums is that you get to try different things and uh, experiment and yeah I mean it's one sheet of pattern paper one sheet and if you don't use the pattern paper it's one piece of cardstock I think we can live with one piece of cardstock <laughs> so yeah and uh, uh, yeah <laughs> I was going to say something very clever. Uh, obviously, I can't really remember what it was. So, here I have a piece of a sticky back canvas that I just uh, painted with a paint, obviously. Uh, and I found it and I thought I'm going to use it in this album. So, I'm just going to punch out some circles using that one inch punch. And um, I'm going to use them later as like tabs for uh, the little tags that I'm going to put in the album. So what I've done here is I just cut the pieces and they are um, slightly smaller than the pieces that you have in the album because of I used the red line tape like I said and um, if you have stitch or something you can have these a little uh, bigger because it doesn't take that much room in the page but just um, cutting them into a place it makes them slide in and out fairly easily if you put if they are too big or too wide they will get stuck in the tape and then you won't get be able to get it out and that's not fun <laughs> so i'm just going to use those little circles to make little pulleys and uh yeah and because they're sticky back they are very easy to sticky stick to them <laughs> oh gosh okay so this album is right here next to me uh no but uh, what i decided to do is make a, uh, two collages on four by six pieces of paper so uh on each to put two by two photos so i get 12 photos and you get a lot more you have a lot more space in this album for 12 two by two photos but that's what it was easy to get um and i decided to make this with my little puppy who is not a little puppy because she is turning four in the summer and I was like oh gosh so I decided I want to do something with the photos of her as a puppy. Um, the last little thing I'm going to put in this album is a piece that I cut into three by uh, I don't know five and a half or something and I just square that down uh, in the middle so you get like a little booklet. Um, 
so I can add some more photos. So yeah, so the photos I decided are baby photos or puppy photos of Viola and I just decided to print them in black and white just to make that easier. But before I do that apparently I'm going to make the cover and I decide to use just a piece of um, uh, wood grain paper, a dark wood grain paper because I like wood grain and I have some like uh, chipboard or cardstock or whatever, uh, they are just a backing from uh, some alpha stickers and I'm going to glue that on top and what I've done here is that I have cut the um, the cover to 3x3 three three, and then the wood grain paper that's going to be my cover that I'm gluing it on here they are, uh, the squares are 3x3 three three, but there's like um, a centimeter uh, between that I have scored so that you get, get a bit of a uh, a backing or a spine to the book. Uh, now you can decide, right? I think considering the size of the album, um, a centimeter or one and a half centimeters maybe, yeah I think it's one and a half, uh, gives it a good spine where you get quite a lot of growing room um, without um, risking that your book will be like too chunky. So yeah. That's what I did, and then I'm just going to glue that on top. So obviously you can spend a lot more time on the cover and, uh, and all that, but it's very, very easy to do, do it this way. And uh, because I'm just gluing it on top, uh, it's going to stick with that glossy accent. And in the beginning you're going to think, oh, that spine is way too big, <laughs> looking weird. But when you have started adding in the photos and tags and uh, embellishments and whatever else you I, I was really happy that I had the album or the spine that was so big so here I am um, the photos like I said I just made some collages with two by two squares on four by six papers and I made them black and white because I just really wanted to play with the colors uh, and I felt like it was easier to have them black and white and then I pull out a few things so just for fun and I had so much fun playing with here just pulling out all the menu and pretty stuff that I had you know those kind of stuff that you sort of hoard a bit yeah I pull it all out so I have uh, some ephemera from the main squeeze collection I have some suede bows from Amy Town they are amazing I have uh, the little tassels I think they're from Gather um, by Maggie Holmes, I think so, and they are so pretty, um, and I think I have four in this album, yeah, um, and then I also have like some sequins from Main Squeeze, and it was just a lot of fun, so uh, now the fun begins, I suppose. So what I have done here is I taken, I have some self-adhesive lace ribbon, and I just put that on the sides of the album to get some texture, and then I'm going to take my photos, going to add some double sided tape and add those in and then adding in um, ephemera um, and then I haven't journaled in here, I, what I have done is I've taken some um, phrase stickers and put that on different and then added some sequins um, and then yeah, uh, keeping, I think that's the key when you make these kind of mini albums is keeping with uh, a certain set of supplies so I have the suede bows, I have sequins and then the tiny word phrases that repeats throughout the album and also having the photos uh, black and white is sort of have their continuity throughout the album and yeah so I would highly recommend this project it's so much fun um, especially if you have like a Sunday where you just have a little bit of time uh, it's really fun making this project with like kids or something uh, because it's very easy and you can like embellish to use hard content and it's so much fun with all the little pockets and it's so little material needed to make this really fun mini album so yeah <laughs> uh, I have been babbling on about and all you want to see is the finished album so here it is uh, I've made a little um, tied a button there so I can wrap my string around it and uh, here we are and we have a little um, tag with some photos on top and obviously you can see if you add more tags you can add in a bunch more photos than I have um, but some of the um, the tiny phrase stickers um, 
the lace and then uh, these pull out with the um, canvas circles and the heart sequence those kind of little things really pull the album together because you have the same elements throughout making it really cohesive and it's really fun and I really am very very happy with how this turned out oh this one didn't have one um, so yeah, I hope you've liked this project. I am super happy with it. And uh, if you give it a try, please share your project with me. So yeah, I hope to see you soon.